Hi, and welcome back to Just Another Stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and today we're going to be learning how to do the long tail cast on mes method in knitting. And this video is part of my beginner knit series. And I will put the link for that playlist in the description box down below. There are a few other videos currently in the playlist and I will be adding more. So the supplies we're going to need for this tutorial, you're going to need five millimeter knitting needles and you have some options here. You could either use straight needles, which typically have some form of stopper at the end, or you can use double pointed needles. And these are actually double pointed. They, they have the point on each end. But my recommend, recommendation is put in caps on one end. It just kind of helps protect your stitches as a beginner. That way there's no way they get that far down on your ne needle and come off the opposite end. Now, what I'm gonna be using is circular knitting needles. And you see how it has the cord. You would want a long enough cord. And this is gonna work the same exact way as using either straight or double pointed needles. And we're also gonna need four weighted yarn. I'm using Big Twist yarn for this tutorial. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we need, need to know is how long of a tail to use. And this can be a little tricky. The very first thing is you need about six inches to weave in your ends. So make sure you use enough for that. All right, so I'm gonna go about right there for that part. Now grab your knitting needle, all right? And you see how I put it on top? And I'm gonna be doing a cast on of 10 for this tutorial. So we're just gonna wrap around 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten all right so i'm gonna put my finger about here leave a little extra and take it off and this is where we're going to be putting the slip knot but let's say our cast on would be 20. all you want to do is just fold that yarn in half and then this would be how long you would need to leave your tail you would just double it. Or say it's 30, you would do that one more time. So that's how you would go about figuring out how long to leave the tail. All right, so for a slip stitch, you just make kind of like a little circle. And this is a piece that connects to the yarn that I have on top. And I'm gonna pinch right here. and the. And what's connected to the skein, you just want to go through and pull it up through the center like this. And then just pull it tight and then you would stick your needle, knitting needle in and tighten it. Like that. Alright, don't worry, we're going to do this again to make sure you have it. Okay, so I just pulled it out. All right, so make your loop. Again, this is the skein connect, I mean, this is the piece connected to your skein of yarn on top. And just take it under like this and pull it through that, you know, pull it through in the center. And then you would just do like that and put your needle in. So you have now learned how to do the slip knot. And your slip knot does count as your first stitch of the cast on. All right, let's get started learning the cast on now. Okay, so there are different ways that you can hold your yarn, but this is how I do it. 
All right, this is your piece at the bottom, your tail. You want that at the bottom. Your piece that's connected to your skein of yarn, you want on the top. And you want to go in. All right. And go like this to that piece connected to the skein of yarn. You see how my finger is? Again, like this. And that's for the piece connected to your skein of yarn. Then your tail, you want to take your bottom two fingers and just grab it like that. Okay, then you're going to take your thumb and wrap it around like this. So this is how it's going to look. All right, let's do that again. Make sure you have it. Take your fingers, go like this. And this is the piece connected to your skein of yarn at the top. Take your bottom two fingers and grab that bottom piece, your tail. Take your thumb and just wrap it around like that. So the slip stitch is your first stitch casted on. So now we're going to do the next stitch. So we take our needle and we move all the way over. And you see this last piece here, that's our tail. So we're going to scoop that piece up. Then we move our needle all the way over. And you see this is the yarn connected to your skein of yarn. You want to scoop that up. Now we're going to pull it through the center loop like that. Let go of your loop and tighten. All right. So we have two stitches. And don't worry, we're going to get practice. Again, you, you scoop up that tail, move your needle over past the yarn connected to the skein. Scoop up that yarn, and we're going to go through the loop and release and tighten. All right. Scoop up the tail, go past the, the yarn connected to the skein, scoop it up, go through the center loop, release and tighten. Let me get that better. All right, grab the tail, scoop it up, take it past the yarn connected to the skein, Scoop up that piece, go through the center loop like that, release it, and tighten. All right, scoop, scoop again, go through the loop, release, and tighten. Scoop up the end piece, move over all the way this way, scoop up the piece connected to the skein, go through that center loop, release, and tighten. All right, again, scoop up that end piece. Scoop up what's connected to the skein, go through the loop, release, and tighten. Oops. All right. We're going to do it one last time. Scoop up the end piece, move all the way over, scoop that up, go through the loop, release, and tighten. And you have your 10 stitches casted on. And the way that you count your stitches, I'm going to show you. You have one, two, three.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you have now learned how to do the long tail cast on method. So when we resume again, I will teach you how to do the knit stitch. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's tutorial and that y'all are all having a fabulous yarny day. Until next time, bye y'all. Thank mm -hmm. you.